Have you always been a farmer? All my life. Like my pa for me, and his pa for him. I come from a long line of straw muskets. How long has your family been farming this land? The straw muskets have been working this land for about as long as anybody can remember. Were all your ancestors farmers too? Not all, but most. Though they all had their own special talents, everyone. Like what? Well, there was Joshua Straw Musket who played the banjo. Sometimes he'd play it for hours, day and night, rain or shine. He used to sit on the porch playing songs. Till that sad day when the neighbors couldn't stand it anymore and hung him from a tree. That's terrible. Well, so was his playing, or at least that's what they say. But he wasn't the only straw musket who was hurried on to the grave. You had another ancestor who met an untimely death? Uh-huh. There was William Straw Musket, the adventurer. Oh, a real explorer he was. Went out into the world for years and came home talking about his trips to anyone who'd listen. Till that sad day when the neighbors got tired of listening to him. So they hung him from a tree. Tell me more about your family. Well, there was Franklin Straw Musket, which was a real strong man. Strong as an ox, but about as smart as a tractor. He used to carry a cow on his shoulder just for fun. Until that sad day when the neighbors got tired of getting their cows stolen. So they hung him from a tree. Tell me more about your family. There was Anastasia Straw Musket. Kept borrowing stuff from folks, never returning them. Till that sad day when the neighbors got tired of missing all their tools and they hung him from a tree. Tell me more about your family. There was Gabriel Straw Musket who settled the land. In fact, when he was still very young, he planted that big tree between this farm and the neighbors. He loved that tree, and he had a bad habit of bragging about it. He'd go out there and stand by that tree, touching it and talking to it for hours on end. Till that sad day when the neighbors got tired of him yakking to that tree, and they hung him from it. Was there anyone in your family who wasn't hung from that tree? Oh, sure. Sherman Straw Musket, for instance. He lived to the ripe old age of 85. And the neighbors never tried to hang him? Not once. Of course, he had this dog was always barking day and night. Well, one sad day, the neighbors got tired of that yappy dog, and they hung the dog from the tree. Aren't you afraid your neighbors will hang you too? Oh, no. The neighbors moved away when I was just a boy. Why'd they move? Well, my pa was a very funny man. He loved to tell jokes. Told them all the time. Even if you didn't want to hear a joke. Or if you'd already heard it 20 times before. Well, one day the neighbors got tired of listening to his old jokes and they went to hang him from the tree. But the tree was getting old, and my pa was a very heavy man. And they broke all the branches that old tree had left trying to hang him. Till finally, they just gave up. Then they packed everything up and moved away. 